Okay, now we're gonna use the Game Boy Advance emulator, VBAGX. I don't know why the hell it's called that. But we're gonna go in here, we're gonna press A, boot it on up. You can plug in, I suggest using the classic remote because you need the top L and R buttons for this. But you can just turn it sideways. Just remember it's gonna be a little janky trying to use your L and R. Alright, so from here, as you can see, it's pretty much like the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo emulator. So what we want to do, so let's go ahead and play a little Kirby. So we're going to go ahead and press A on the remote. It's going to load that up for us. And as you can see, we got some Kirby running here. Oh, oh what is this? Okay, as you can see, some of the side of the screen is chopped off. Now, if we want it to go full screen, what you got to do is press the home button real quick. Now, let's go down to game settings and press A. And we're going to go to video. Now, as you can see, if you go down to scaling, don't touch anything but the scaling. It says maintain aspect ratio. What we're going to do is we're going to press the A button a couple times. And we're going to go to stretch to fit. Now, once you get it there, press the B button. And then it's gonna it should go down to go back and you press the A button and it should bring you back here. Now you just hit the home button. Now as you can see, it's taking up the whole screen and not just a part of the screen. Okay, now from here you can go ahead and play. But if you want to pick another game, we're gonna hit the home button again. We're gonna navigate down to main menu and press A. And we're gonna go over to OK and it'll bring us back here. Now, let's try another game. Let's try Pokemon something. And so as you're scrolling through this list, if you press up and down, it'll go from game to game. If you press left on the D-pad, that's page up. If you press right on the D-pad, that's page down. So let's go ahead and scroll down to a good old fashioned Pokemon game. Everybody loves so much. As you can see, there's quite a few options. We're going to stick to the basics. Let's try Pokemon Emerald. Let me just give it a second to load this little bar here. And we're playing some Pokemon. Sounds pretty decent for Game Boy game. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and start the game. We can press the start button. We can start a new game. Okay, now we're going to hit the home button. And I'm going to show you how to save and load your game. So it's pretty simple. Just if you want to save the state or where you are, you just click on save. Now, from here, you have two options. If you click new SRAM, what an SRAM is, is it creates a save state type file for your cartridge where you can save on the cartridge. So you can load and save your game to the cartridge. But I would not suggest that, given that sometimes it doesn't work. So what you want to do is you want to save a, a snapshot. So as you can see the green highlighter here, let's navigate over here to new snapshot. And we're going to press A. Okay, we're going to press A again. Okay, now what we want to do, as you can see there, we got a nice little snapshot of the professor. So we're going to press the B button to go back. And then we're going to click on close here. And it'll continue our game for us. Now, if we want to load what we just saved, we hit the home button again. And we go over to load this time. Now you want to click on the snapshot there. And it'll pick up from where you left off. Now we're going to hit the home button one more time. And we're going to navigate back down to main menu. And we're going to go over. We're going to press OK. And you can pick another game. Or if you want to exit, you can just press the home button. You don't even have to go to exit. Just press the home button and you're out of there. And that's pretty much it.